Welcome to Digit Math. Today, we're diving into subtracting two-digit numbers. We've got 10 questions lined up to help you sharpen your subtraction skills. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find it helpful. Let's get started. 91 minus 73 is time to think. 's go to the answer in the units column we have 1 minus 3 since it's not possible to subtract 3 from 1 we need to borrow from the tens column in the tens column we have 9 we take 1 from the tens leaving 8 in the tens column and turning the units column into 11 now we have 11 in the units column subtract 3 from 11 which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 8. Subtract 7 from 8, which equals 1. So the final result is 91 minus 73 equals to 18. 84 minus 48 is time to think. 7 Therefore, 84 minus 48 equals 36. Eighty one minus thirty three is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have one minus three. Since it's not possible to subtract three from one, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 11. Now we have 11 in the units column. Subtract three from 11, which equals eight. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract 3 from 7, which equals 4. So the final result is 81 minus 33 equals to 48. 81 minus 22 is time to think. 81 Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have one minus two. Since it's not possible to subtract two from one, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have eight. We take one from the tens, leaving seven in the tens column and turning the units column into 11. Now we have 11 in the units column. Subtract two from 11, which equals nine. In the tens column, we now have seven. Subtract 2 from 7, which equals 5. So the final result is 81 minus 22 equals to 59. 67 minus 29 is time to think. 67 Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have seven minus nine. Since it's not possible to subtract nine from seven, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have six. We take one from the tens, leaving five in the tens column and turning the units column into 17. Now we have 17 in the units column. Subtract nine from 17, which equals eight. In the tens column, we now have five. Subtract two from five, which equals three. So the final result is 
67 minus 29 equals to 38. 66 minus 48 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 6 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 6, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 16. Now, we have 16 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 16, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 4 from 5, which equals 1. So the final result is 66 minus 48 equals to 18. 55 minus 36 is time to think. In the units column, we have 5 minus 6. Since it's not possible to subtract 6 from 5, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 5. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 4 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 15. Now, we have 15 in the units column. Subtract 6 from 15, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 4. Subtract 3 from 4, which equals 1. So the final result is, is 55 minus 36 equals to 19. 33 minus 16 is time to think. In the units column, we have 3 minus 6. Since it's not possible to subtract 6 from 3, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 3. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 2 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 13. Now, we have 13 in the units column. Subtract 6 from 13, which equals 7. In the tens column, we now have 2. Subtract 1 from 2, which equals 1. So the final result is 33 minus 16 equals to 17. 44 minus 16 is time to think. In the units column, we have 4 minus 6. Since it's not possible to subtract 6 from 4, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 4. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 3 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 14. Now we have 14 in the units column. Subtract 6 from 14, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 3. Subtract 1 from 3, which equals 2. So the final result is 44 minus 16 equals to 28. 57 minus 39 is time to think. In the units column, we have 7 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 7, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 5. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 4 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 17. Now, we have 17 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 17, which equals 8. In the tens column, we now have 4. Subtract 3 from 4, which equals 1. So the final result is 57 minus 39 equals to 18. Awesome work, everyone. You've just completed 10 subtraction questions with two-digit numbers. 
keep practicing to get even better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun and learning. See you in the next lesson.